I'm on a, cha a crusade right now. It's about our kids. It's about their future, and it's about what we can provide for them. We need to invest in public education. Quit siphoning off the millions of dollars that we are, that are going to for-profit charter schools, and invest in our kids' future, and to ensure that every child has a fair and equitable education. Because of my past work in the private sector in developing uh, this, this area best that I can, uh, fighting the political regime here, trying to get things done. So I decided to run to try to create a, an aggressive economic development of manufacturing, distribution, and technology. Developing an economic plan of manufacturing, distribution, and technology, improving our educational system to better uh, the environment for the young people so they have a future. And third, uh, developing a road system utilizing asphalt and rubber tire so that we don't have potholes and cracks and a smooth surface like they do down south. Education, to ensure that every child has a fair and equitable education, that we support the affordable higher education opportunities, that we have hope in our promising new jobs that are coming up, and that we have a trained and educated workforce to, to attend and, and participate in, and to make sure that we help the governor to re-enter into our daily lives again once the quarantine is closed down by supporting our small businesses and by in investing in, in our communities. Well, the Democrats in the Ohio House have introduced many bills to support the small businesses, and we need to support our small businesses right now at the government level. We need to invest in our small businesses through the Rainy Day Fund, and through legislation and, and targeting, channeling money that we could be putting into supporting our small restaurants and bars and, and supporting our teachers and students as they enter back into school. Everybody wants to go back to school. Everybody wants to go back to the normal. But we have to listen to scientists and we have to listen to medical professionals. We have to wear our masks and we have to participate in social distancing and, and this will pass. But we all have to participate in this and take it seriously and listen to the professionals. Well, back to the economic, aggressive economic plan and working with the state of Ohio, working with YSU, and also uh, uh, utilizing the Trump plan uh, of economic growth and manufacturing, bringing back manufacturing. Safety. Uh, number one is safety. Uh, number two is jobs, and number three is keeping the children here, creating an environment so that the children stay after they graduate college instead of leaving. Because a lot of people complain that we don't see our grandchildren anymore. Mm -hmm. The school takeover, the state takeover of the city schools, that needs to be addressed. There are three city schools in this state, in the entire state, and Youngstown is one of them, East Cleveland and Lorraine. The rest of the state has somehow slipped away from that. We've passed a moratorium on takeovers for the rest of the state. We know it's wrong. The legislature in the House passed three times to get rid of the state takeovers. And so this is, this is totally my, my challenge that we have to get rid of state takeovers and restore local control. Yes, I believe it exists, and I believe that we need to look at what this pandemic has exposed. There are safety nets are not there for people, and in the minority community, it's, it's worse than, than in other communities. And so we need to address situations where we can, in, that we ensure that we, that we provide safety nets for people and, and build on education and, and um, provide services that will help people in in some of the poorest districts our district here has the second highest poverty child rate in the nation so we are really dealing with with this on on so many levels and the core you know the covid 19 has just ripped the band-aid off it's really not being very helpful right now so well first of all uh we, we have developed the system over the last 30 years where when they say that word systemic racism uh, if they look what's going on and the ability 
of all races to have opportunity in this country, it's amazing. So I don't think it exists because I know a lot of people of all races that if they go out and they make things happen, they succeed.